Section 1A The Skeleton and Joints The skeleton is the basic framework of the body and we know that it's got four major functions number one shape and support number two movement number three protection and number four blood production what you need to be able to do is to explain with examples from the major bones in the body how these functions could be used during performance for instance the cranium might be seen as a protective bone when heading the football the femur may be seen as a bone that's producing movement when running. Section 1A Skeleton and Joints Part 2 The Joints In this section you need to explain not only the different types of joints such as ball and socket in the shoulder and in the hip, hinge joints such as in the knee and the elbow, gliding joints such as those in the small bones of the hand to allow extra mobility and pivot joints like the one that your skull sits on at the top of the vertebrae which allows you to rotate your head from side to side. You also need to be able to explain the range of movement that each joint allows. For instance, the hinge joints allow flexion, the bending of a joint, and extension, the straightening of a joint. Gliding joints allow flexion and extension through a slight gliding motion between the ends of small bones of the hands and the feet. Pivot joints only allow rotation and nothing else. They allow you to turn your head from side to side. Ball and socket joints, such as in the hip and shoulder, allow a whole range of movements including flexion, extension, rotation and abduction and adduction, which is the taking away and adding to the body of a limb, for instance lifting your arm up at the side when playing a tennis shot. If you can explain these ranges of movement through a practical example then all the better. So talk about extension when straightening the leg in kicking a football. Talk about flexion when doing a bicep curl and lifting the weight up and bending the arm. Talk about abduction when taking the arm away from the body when producing a forehand stroke in tennis. You also need to be able to explain the value to performance of healthy and efficient joints and also when people have problems with those joints how it affects performance. For instance ligament damage, cartilage and synovial fluid problems and how in turn they affect participation and performance.